Hey guys, it's Tony here. So here's a video about my 3-axis uh, stabilizer. So I have two different gimbals. This right here is my older one. This right here is my newer one that I'm currently building for a guy uh, down there in Southern California. He's local. He's one of those, you know, serious cinematographers. He's uh, using, you know, 5D with uh, some cinema lens on here. So I'm very excited to try out this gimbal for him. Uh, this is the famous hobby gimbal. It's got motor cages, four millimeter carbon plates on here. It's a very, very solid structure. It's a very solid gimbal. Nothing's gonna move. It's very solid compared to other gimbals out there. Now, if you're on a budget, you can find these gimbals for pretty cheap out there. You know, Hobby King got some for two, three hundred bucks. So it's not a very expensive setup. But you know, depending on what type of shooting you're planning to achieve, what type of cameras you're planning to use, you can start anywhere from you know a few hundred bucks to a few thousand dollars. These right here are running about $1,800, uh, $1, fully set up, balanced, tuned, and everything. But, you know, depending on what you use and what you have, can be more, can be less. I'm working on getting another one for about $1,200. So it's going to be a little bit less, but that's going to be just for DSLR. These will be for DSLRs to a very lightweight cinema camera setup. But you can see famous hobby gimbal. It's very nice. Got the battery plate on top. Very large channels on here, so you can even chop this down to reduce the size to make it more compact like what you see over here because you can see side by side this gimbal is a lot larger it's you know made to handle a lot more equipment you know you want to use a red epic with a side grip on the side for you know doing adjustments you can fit that you want to put a black magic good you can put a black magic on there it's fully adjustable a lot of gimbals that you can find on there you know you can't fit different cameras so if you have you know 5D, you have a Black Magic, you have both cameras, or you have even an Epic, you can't grow into it because you're stuck using DSLRs. Great, this one, you can use all type of setups. Even an FS700, if you have one of those, great for slow motion and, you know, type of shooting. So that's pretty much it. I just want to keep it very short, showing my gimbals. You know, I have one powered on, you can see, you know, manual control. I got a little joystick back here. Show you guys my joystick. My new gimbal is going to feature the same thing, just, you know, different type of setups, thicker plates and stuff like that. Both gimbals, very solid, 20 millimeter bearings, got nice, you know, CNC parts on here, so everything is really nice, secure, and rigid. So let me turn this around and show you guys the rear of the gimbal. Oh, my stand is foldable, so it's kind of folding on me. I need to tighten down these screws, but I have a joystick back here. Before, I was using a really big joystick that I made. Um, it just it's really big bulky so I want to keep the size and platform very compact very convenient very you know economical so everything is just right here I have this regular double stick tape down my custom joystick I have a OP follow focus to pull focus on here so it's very nice to have a lot of these new features because this makes life a lot easier if you're into shooting you know photography into shooting videos if you're just a hobbyist do it for fun, you know, it just makes it a lot easier. And even if you're a serious cinematographer, having a lot of these features make life a lot easier. So, yeah, that was a quick video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, be sure to subscribe, like, and stay tuned for some more videos coming up very soon. So, have a great one, guys. Thanks for watching.